um, Shaq Leonard as the LB17 and the 25th defensive player, yet he's not in our top 25 you know, rankings. Um, I don't believe it. I, yeah, I don't think I see him. Sure isn't. Well, sure is <laughs> so I think he's a really fun guy to start with, right? Um, yeah. He's been a monster. for. He's been one of these guys who's been atop the rankings pretty much since he's a rookie. However, last year ran into a lot of issues with injuries. He's a little bit older now. So, but he's got the name value. We see this happen with offense too all the time, right? Name value still gets you some clout and cachet. So, um, you know, so we've got Shaq Leonard at going as a 25th defensive player to LB17. What are you doing with, with Shaq Leonard, Matt? I am letting someone else draft him as linebacker 17. Uh, it, it's love it. it. It's a fun. He's a fun test case, right? Because like you, like you said, it's truly the name. That that's why he's here, based off of previous production. Uh, obviously, he came out with a bang. Looking at his stats in his rookie year, 163 combined tackles, seven sacks. That was his peak. He's gone down every single year. Uh, I'm not saying that the averaging before his injury rid of last year. Last year, uh, about 120 combined tackles per year. That's nothing to slouch at, right? That's still pretty good. But he was being drafted because of his rookie campaign. Uh, I mean, as up there as linebacker one for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, and then his injury thing last year, we didn't know if he was going to be on the field or not. He ended up not being there. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm still worried that he's just not going to play as much. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the funny seeing Bobby Okereke uh, to the ah. right of him and the consensus ranks as they yeah. were on the same team. Uh, <laughs> I guess the one nice thing we can have uh, for Shaquille Leonard's potentially bounce back year right. is that okay is gone okay is on the giants which we'll talk about him in a little bit uh mm -hmm. love him i love mm -hmm. his spot there on on the giants <laughs> so i mean i guess when you're getting to linebacker 17 you're talking like linebacker two for most of average idp leagues um i guess it's a scratch off ticket uh mm -hmm. if he's going top 25 of idp though i, I think there are some safer bets uh, and there's some mm -hmm. safer value for people uh you know like okay okay uh, or CJ Mosley, who's also not in that ADP range there. I'd rather have them than the the unknowns. And that's the kind of stuff I like to hear. Who would we rather have, right, than this than the guys that we kind of are surprised to see squeeze their way um, into the into the top twenty five of ADP here? So um, I love that. Yeah, uh, that's a perfect take. I'm pretty much right in step with you on that one. Um, you know, he's. His ceiling, we know the ceiling, right? It's great. It's going to be tough. I mean, back injuries on a football player, mm -hmm. neck, it, you know, that's that's kind of scary stuff to be dealing with. So, um, you know, his the guy who kind of um, also took off out of nowhere last year, a guy like Zaire Franklin, is making his way. So we'll, we'll touch on him too. But, yeah, so Shaq Leonard is kind of a buyer beware, right? Um, if you're taking him in a startup, just make sure you, you're adding depth to your uh, linebacker room on your fantasy team there, uh, just in case he does miss games or, or miss a significant time again uh, this coming year. But um, if he's starting week one, he's absolutely in, in your starting lineup. But we just think at this point, there's some safer guys, like you said, and, uh, you know, age, you know, of course, Dynasty always gets the age bias and, you know, he's no spring chicken anymore. Uh, 28 in football years is getting up there a little bit. So, you know, um, that that's, you know, Shaq Leonard is, is you know, definitely a guy we're, we're not totally anti him just at that uh, particular range, right? It's, it's, it's the price point because yeah. even average, even if he gets back to what his standard deviation, like 130 combined tackles mm -hmm. and three sacks, that's good. That would be good for last year to be about linebacker 30. Like we're not even talking top 20 linebacker production with those kind of stats. So the fact that he's going at 17, uh, it's the name. It's the rookie year. Right. It's the, you know, it's maybe some of our tools have him ranked higher. So people are just automatically drafting him there. But yeah. uh, I, I think there are. Like we said, don't want to be a dead horse, but there, there are some better options out there for you at, yeah. at that spot. It's going to be interesting how it shakes out if he is healthy um, with, with snaps and everything with with Franklin. So uh, that's something we're definitely going to keep an eye on. And I have some opinions on Franklin, too. <laughs> All 